June 8th, Monday of the 10th week in Ordinary Time, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord Blessed are the poor in spirit. The Gospel enumerates the Beatitudes in Matthew. Opening the Sermon on the Mount, what does the opening declaration, Blessed are the poor in spirit, mean? The poor in spirit are blessed because the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. And who are the poor in spirit? This can be understood along with the Matthean message of submission to the will of the Heavenly Father. We are poor in spirit when we submit to the Father's will. Being poor in spirit or submitting our will to the Father's becomes the basic prerequisite for us to become heirs of the kingdom of heaven. Are we truly poor in spirit as we discern to do God's will? Do we feel blessed whenever we turn to God, set aside our selfishness, submit our will to the Father's, and become more self-giving like Jesus? Jesus.